Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Guns, Nerds, and Steel. Today we continue Darkness Falls into Day 29. And I feel like I say it every time, but it is going to be a busy day today. We have final preparations to make for the Horde, which is almost upon us. We have two more days, really not even that. So last night I got organized a little bit. I'm finishing up on the coil shotgun shells, and I'll be making 50 steel log spikes that used 500 steel which means we're out of steel so we need to go get some more iron i'm also crafting up some topsoil oh i got some robotic turret ammo i will eventually make the darts for my junk turret but uh for now i'm just gonna roll with the turret ammo i think it's it's fine it'll be fine so let's put the stuff away i need more topsoil i need more clay I, i'm severely low on clay and iron so we need to go work on that first thing this morning Probably wouldn't hurt if I had a little bit more wood as well. I think, ah oh yes, I put some cobblestone rocks in there. I notice it's these things sometimes that I'm editing and it's just like, ah, uh, it bothers me so much I have to go fix it immediately. Okay, I think for this little adventure, we can risk the auger a little bit. So I'll bring it with me. Got plenty of fuel. I have thousands and thousands of fuel now. I, I turned all that oil shale into gas. Bit of a lag stutter there. I'm not sure if that was a horde. See, I used to play on Romero mod, and that is made by Kane, and it's kind of, it's basically like vanilla only, it's only headshots, like body shots don't do damage to zombies, and the wandering hordes, like there's no horde, and it's just wandering hordes. And so, I, when I played that whole series with Romero mod, I got used to what it feels like <laughs> in terms of game performance when the, the wandering hordes start spawning. So, anyway, every time I feel a little bit of a lag spike, I just kind of brace myself. Alright, so the reason I'm coming way over here is because I want to make damn sure I'm not on my heat chunk over there. Because <laughs> I'm going to be using the auger here in just a second. I'm going to make up like a bit of a clay mine over here by this uh, mountain. And this is a good opportunity to just use the auger. Yeah, it's a bee! Ah! Never actually been stung by one of these yet. I'm not sure if it poisons you or what the deal is. Oh man, what a mess they left out here. Yeah, so time for a quick confession. I... When I was recording the last episode, I had it. Rec I was recording on two computers the entire time. That's how I put the montage together, and it's something I've been experimenting with a little bit more and more lately to try to get some unique camera angles and perspectives and things like that. But when I was recording on this computer, like my primary playthrough recording, I had my my computer, my hard drive filled up because I had like tons and tons. I had like 40 episodes worth of footage from the Frostbite series. Anyway, the hard drive filled up and when that happened, my uh, current recording at the time corrupted and luckily I had chunked it into three recordings, but I lost the middle one. So you guys were able to see what happened at the beginning and the end, but all of my first person stuff that happened in the middle was forever lost and it was either re-record the whole episode or roll with it and fortunately I had the footage from the other computer so I just I supplemented with that montage and I just kind of I did the best I could but that's probably why it felt like you guys did miss some things because there was a lot that I was discussing uh, I, I spent the nights in between um, in between building I, I just came back here at the base at night and kind of you know did commentary and talked about what I was crafting and stuff like that. But really, the, the big thing is that I just got this shotgun here. And uh, I think that's probably, you know, in a nutshell, what happened. Wow, look at this mess. Oh my god, these bodies everywhere. I wish these things would just decay after a certain period of time. 
So I'll go in the confession booth here and, you know, forgive me, my, my fellow viewers, <laughs> for I have sinned. I corrupted my footage and therefore had to skip a bunch of shit in the last episode. Okay, say 10 Hail Marys and move on. Speaking of move on, hey, friends. Oh, this machete is, is OP. I, you know, when Guac finds this thing, he's going to be one happy motherfucker. Well, I need to head into the mine now and get some iron. I will not be using the auger for this activity. In fact, I'm supposed to plug these up, but I don't think I have the resources right now to do it. I think I'll just put a hatch in the door. Probably not the best idea because if I do pop up and there's a screamer there, she's going to see it and I don't even have a hammer with me. Anyway, oh crap. So yeah, my strategy is to come way, way down here. Looking at the map, I'm like in the middle of town now and build up the heat map over here. I'm not sure why, but I'm one-shotting like a, a lot of these. Oh, look. Look, I can glitch through. Ah, whoa. I can see the zombies up there. Uh, is that a screamer or just regular old zombies up there? I'm not sure. They're not digging though, which is a good sign. Oh, this is a good little trick. I forgot about this trick. I'm very happy that they're not trying to dig though. I'm not sure if I've read something that gives me like the one-shot the ore kind of trick, but yeah, I mean, I was definitely one-shotting like a whole bunch. Now I'm not one-shotting any of them. All right, that should be good. I got like four full stacks. That'll hold us over for a week or two. I had considered bringing the golf cart down here. It probably would be better if I bring like a motorcycle down here because uh, I think the height on the um, golf cart is like probably three blocks. And so I'd have to rip out the whole ceiling as well. So uh, it was a good idea and it would be super fun, but probably not practical. Okay, now the trick is the screamers probably wandered over to chase me. So I gotta get out of the hole as quickly as possible and uh, see if they're chasing me down. No, not yet anyway. I'll just leave them over there. Hopefully they'll despawn eventually. Okay, first things first, we need to get rolling on steel. Also gonna get some more topsoil. So a little, hopefully in this episode, but if not, then the next episode, I'll be getting started on the garden. And I've rewatched the farming video, so I'm confident in uh, being able to do the irrigation system. So Snowbee has some really good tutorials. And if you don't know who Snowbee is, you need to check him out. So I watched his video again. Oh, they're actually like messing up the blocks down there. And yeah, I think the um, irrigation system will be better in the long run. We'll get more crops per per like, you know, acre or whatever. Okay, just gonna grab a quick bite to eat. Got some steak and potatoes right here. I'll take my daily multivitamin. And what else can I drink here? Uh, I'll, I'll drink this apple juice. I only got one left anyway. And let's head over now to the base. There's a lot, lot, lot left to do. In fact, before I go, I think I will grab up some of the uh, building materials. That would probably be helpful. And a nail gun. Right. So what I'm thinking about doing now is making the pit. Got to have a pit. It's my new favorite thing to do in the game. So I'm going to have to carve out the top layer of asphalt here. And I'm just going to use the auger, um, you know, heat be damned. If a screamer shows up, we'll just have a, a fight here at the horde base. I mean, it is this lane at least is pretty much ready to go. Oh, and before I do and before I forget when I was editing, I, I learn a lot when I'm editing, you know, and because I get to like rewatch all of my mistakes. And when I was doing that experiment, which resulted in the collapse of a door, we lost one of the doors. I realized what I did wrong. And so in order to fix that, I'm going to get a specific lock. I need like the, the plate wedge tip or whatever it's called. Plate ramp is what I need. I'll put a plate ramp here and then I'll put a plate diagonal filler there. And then over here, I'm going to put these pole blocks and I'm going to put them just like this so that there's like another sort of layer in case one, in case like the security gate breaks, there's going to be one of these poles above it and below it. I'll put another one down here. So there's just that added kind of connection to the base. I'm gonna do the same thing with that plate ramp there. And then just again with the plate diagonal filler like this. Right there, as well as right there. 
Now, okay, it looks a little weird, but I do want to give this a try. So what's happening is that this automated door and all doors have like a sticky part. So you can actually stick stuff to the top of them and to the, the bottoms, like the sides. And so by putting the door onto that um, trussing block right there, it's stuck there, but it, now it's also stuck on the top sides. And so if the trussing block breaks, or the security gate breaks, it'll still be connected to these like corner fillers and therefore it will probably not fall down or at least it's less likely to fall down and break uh, due to like a demolisher going off and knocking out certain blocks. At least that's I, I think what's happening here. Worth a try anyway. Never learn anything new if you just keep doing the same old thing over and over again. Okay, well, that's interesting. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing how that turns out. And it's still bulletproof, at least a little bit. And then these uh, plate ramps are kind of protected because I put the, the ramp fillers on the outside. So now what we're going to do is carve out some of the asphalt and I'm going to dig down probably... What did I want to do? I want... I need six blocks here. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to go down... Actually, I need seven blocks up here, so I need to go down three. I need to actually go down four. And just collapse out the rest. Pretty much it for the pit. I've definitely probably missed a few blocks, but as the demos and whatever else is going to be blowing up down here, as they carve out more holes and, and destroy blocks, I will just continue filling this all in with concrete. And so for this little piece right here, though, I have something special planned. I did a little bit of uh, practicing because there's a POI out there somewhere where there's like a nice mural on the wall that uses some of the new shapes. And I'm gonna try my hand at copying it. There we go. I know it doesn't look like much now, but once it's painted, it's gonna look fantastic. All right, I think we'll do the same procedure here that we did at the last base. I think it worked out well enough and it'll work out even better once I can get things upgraded to steel. What I mean by that is we'll just be doing these plate corners and like regular plates on face like that. Then the plate diagonal filler to fill in these little edges. All right, that's it for the pit. I did make up the steel spikes and I'll lay out like, I think it's gonna be 25. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. And um, yeah, I think I'll leave the back row open because I don't think many zombies gonna be falling down over here, but they might want to like uh, come over here and beat on the wall. I don't want them to beat on the wall. I'm gonna work very hard to get this mural painted. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's see. We need to probably go back to the base, get that steel that I've been crafting, and make up the other two vault doors so that we can come over here and do electrical for the night. All right. Vault door number one. Vault door number two. And just like that, I'm... Oh my god, I'm so low on springs and mechanical parts. Yeah, we definitely need to get back into raiding. All I've been doing for the last couple days is just crafting and using resources. I mean, you can make mechanical parts, but duct tape, holy cow, that's... That's not something I want to be using. 
Okay, I got a dart trap, the steel spikes, all of my electrical stuff, more resources, and the vault doors. I think we're okay to head back over to the base. I think it's going to be nightfall here soon. I think it's just raining out right now. But that's okay. We can spend the night over at the horde base just getting some preparations made. Ah, uh, yeah. So here's the garden. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay... Since I've already dug it up really badly, I'm going to lay some pipes underground. And then I'm going to put like a little water reservoir here. And then a water pump system to like pump the pipe. Pump 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 the water with the pipes underneath the plots, not the plots. I'm actually just going to hoe the ground. I just wanted the, uh, the alliteration there. <laughs> oh, it's nightfall now. All right. Head on a swivel. I guess, yes, zombies do spawn in here. There's at least one. But for the most part, the wall kind of keeps them out. I think once I get organized here, I might make it a thing of mine to just kind of patch up the holes in the wall and keep the wanderers outside. All right, let's get these doors set up. First things first. Hopefully I don't mess this up. All right, all four doors are now set up. She's dead. And I have like eight skill points that I need to spend because I didn't want to spend them yesterday and then I was going to spend them today, but then I forgot and then I realized when I was building the trench over here that I had forgotten and then I forgot again, but <laughs> all right. So now we can take a moment and go through these eight skill points. I want to focus a lot on shotguns with this round of skill points. So I'm going to take two into boomstick. I'm going to go into my farmer class and take the last one in uh, get off my land, which will be increasing the dismemberment chance of shotguns, which I guess probably counts for the head too. For the most part, I don't really care if I'm shooting off limbs. In terms of mechanic class, I think I will take that extra point into salvage operations. And I could take another into robotics inventor. That should probably help for the horde coming up because I can have two turrets and then one sledge turret. And from here, I think I'll go into, let's see, I've got three points left. Can I just like zing through quality Joe? Yes. That's, that should like dramatically increase my loot level. Let's see, I went from increased by 40 to increased by 100. So I just got plus 60 to my loot stage. I am level 71. My loot bonus is 167, which means my loot stage is 264. And my wellness was 281, which is good to see. All right, unfortunately I did forget about the electric fences, but that should be okay. Survivable anyway. So while we're hanging out here tonight, I'll just leave that open and that closed. So that'll be the designated fighting position. And something, I got a comment on the last series that uh, something that might be helpful for you guys is if I just made some sort of a indication like that just to kind of orient you to like where I am in the base. I don't know if that's going to be helpful and I'm certainly not going to make that permanent. That's just kind of for now. And then we'll work on painting more at some other time. But yeah, is that helpful if you kind of, you know, so you're not just completely confused at which direction we're facing. I mean, there is a compass at the top if you need some help. It does appear. Whoa, man, that, I don't know. That's uh, not normal for zombies to do that. That is very, very concerning. <laughs> zombies are not supposed to be able to walk on those. That, and I don't know why they're not wanting to come around to the other side. Maybe the pathing it's too far for them? Ooh, I don't know. That is a bad omen, though. All right, there it is. Good morning, everyone. I'm just working on some archways for the front, just, just for design purposes. No, no real function here. All right, all right, that's it. Just get those upgraded. Nope. Oh. Wood needed. And that'll do. Yeah, see, I think this is going to be a problem here. Zombies trying to beat on the edge. I did not get a chance to kind of put this into what I envision as the final form. 
We'll work on that in just a minute, though. I'm working on some aesthetics, and I'll show you when it's all done. Typical me, more worried about looks than function. I do feel as though this guy here, this football player, is a part of a horde. There's a, there's some smoke clouds. Oh, lots of them. Yes, I think this is a horde. Get ready! Just bring him into the streets. I want to fight them all at once. Yes, here they are! Let's get this new coil shotgun a whirl. This has some knockdown power, doesn't it? One of those exploding dogs. Two of them. Alright, gotta go easy on the rounds. Well, actually, I have more coil shotgun rounds than I have regular shotgun rounds. There we go. Man, we are pretty deadly now, aren't we? Hey, steak sandwich. I love finding those. Nothing like a fresh steak sandwich that's been in some zombies... What was that? Black Sky! Oh, that's another legendary weapon! Oh, damn! Wait, I gotta read about it. Legendary Desert Vulture that, so the tales say, deals 50% more damage to all targets when night falls. Ooh, wow, what a smooth look. Hide the HUD for a second. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, man. Okay, um, unfortunately, I, I won't be able to put as many mods on it, but it's probably certainly better than the, the Desert Vulture that I have. Let's just double check that. Oh, not, not significantly. It's got a couple extra rounds in the magazine and a little bit extra damage. Probably overall going to be less damage since I'll have less mods on it. But the um, extra 50% damage at night, I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? Uh, okay, what do we want here? Feel the heat, armor shredder, blessed metal. I guess we can forego the mag extender. I wonder if I... I probably cannot combine that, can I? Just thinking it might be nice if I could combine it with my desert vulture and get a few more levels on it. Oh my god, machetes. I guess I'll just eat my vitamins again. I'm not sure if that stacks within like a 24-hour period or not. Okay, I'm super encumbered, but damn, the base is looking good, isn't it? Still work to be done, though. Okay, get the, uh, what is this called? Black Sky? Is that what that was called? Ho oh, ho ho, some knockdown power, baby. Yeah, I think the arches look cool. And, uh, the one last thing I'm going to do is put a big giant cross in the front. Just like that. And now it's important to me to have at least one side fully done up the way we want it in its final form, and we'll just work on the others as we go. I'm thinking to just frame that up a little bit more so that it's a bit bulkier, but I don't want to induce any kind of a collapse, so I'm going to actually like put some scaffolding up to kind of hold it up. I don't know. I think that'll do. Just the, the sides right here. And uh, when I was on the multiplayer server there a couple of days ago, I saw someone using a really cool trick. Uh, uh, Rabbit, I think this was you that showed me how to do this. So I, I want to try it out myself and put like a little ladder here on the side. But um, maybe instead of the ladder, use something like the trellis. Trellis just kind of looks a little bit better than like a regular old ladder in my opinion. Then I'll just put these little catwalk pieces on their sides. Like, well, like, like so. Just so that if they do start beating on the sides here, they're not going to do too much damage. And then you just get the regular V2 plate onlys, put those on face and slap that in. So what I'm hoping for is that... It, 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 zombies do a funny thing at ladders. They don't tend to swing when they are stuck on a ladder. So I think that will help them kind of turn that corner instead of doing some kind of like elaborate kind of ramp system here i'm gonna try this out upgrading some of this to steel here again i'm gonna put some armor on the sides here just so that the ramp 
because that's the foundation. I think uh, it's actually connect. Technically, it's connected to the base, so it's got probably a lot of structural support. But you can never have too much structural support. Plus, these catwalk plates, they um, they they're able. You're able to paint them in two different colors, and it just kind of looks nicer. Oh, would you guys get out of here? Your punishment for disturbing me is Ash's chainsaw to the face. Oh, this guy is making all the noise. All right, got my fill of Ash's chainsaw for the day. All right, how much steel did I bring with me? Three, well, like six or 700. Okay, so plenty. I'm gonna still try to be kind of conservative with it. Just trying to get the most important pieces. Three more skill points. What do you want to bet I'm gonna forget to spend those? Okay, so for now, uh, I'm not too, too concerned if they blow a big hole in the floor because I, I do want to fill it in. It's just clay under here, so I do want to fill that in with concrete and I'll just let them do the digging for me. Can I get this all painted up? There we go. Man, that's looking cool. Love it. Like one thing is missing though. Ah, yes, the holy symbol. Something else might be missing though. <laughs> Some fucking horns. Yes, I love it. There we go. That is looking pretty damn cool. Let's start dropping down these steel spikes. Okay, looking pretty deadly. We'll see how it works. Oh, I just up, up, upgraded that to stainless steel. I didn't realize that I was able to do that. I mean, it makes sense. Good to know. Oh, and just like that, I'm out of steel. Damn, I used all that steel. Well, let's go get some more. All right, I think that will probably do it. I am running very low on steel. I want to save the rest of it for repairs. So this will be the primary position tonight. And if this should fail, then we will just have to bring them over to alternative sides. I do need a couple of extra switches, and I need to get them linked up. I'll have to bring some engines and refuel this. Okay, I think we're looking pretty good. Ideally, I'd want a few more electric fences too. Okay, let's um, get this position here painted a little bit more, and then we'll get some final crafting done. All right, that's it. That's what I've come up with so far. I'll continue having to play with this and uh, see what I like in terms of color scheme. But that will do for tonight. I think, yeah, the sun's getting low in the sky. It's probably time to go get our inventory squared away for the night. Yeah, I think I have everything I need. Man, we're cutting it close tonight. Oh, geez, just noticing that there's like plywood under the base. Well, hopefully the base doesn't get invaded underneath and like collapse or anything like that. All right, while I'm right here, let's get the sledge turret. And my idea was to just pop him right here so that he can probably set off a demolition zombie, but <laughs> oh well. All right, I forgot engines, but I should be able to rip one off of this. Yes, just put that spare engine on here, refuel a little bit. That just needs to power the doors. Okay, all four doors are now not powered, but connected at least. That one's powered, we need to turn that one off. Secure the hatches. We've got these bottom hatches too, so that cops can't like spit at me if they see me from down below. That should block them. Okay, just get the final electric fences in and connected. All right, so if I hit this switch here, that should power all of these. And we have 10 output remaining. Wow, cutting it close. All right, that is it. Get those out of the inventory. Where was my other junk turret? I think I left him somewhere and forgot about him. Yeah, he's over here on the trash can still. Come with me, buddy. Oh, okay, back to the base. Oh, geez, get in here. Close the hatches. It is time to lock and load. All right, my friends, the horde is almost upon us.
the sound of it, many of them are content to just beat on the walls, and that is probably very bad news. We'll have to figure out a solution, but at least we have some of them up here. All right, let's have a look and see how the pit... Oh, the pit is right full of zombies. Nice. Oh, stuff's blowing up down there already. Oh, God, it's just completely filled. All right, not able to reach with the club. Let's try the chainsaw. Oh, yeah, that works. All right, let's have a look again downstairs or down into the pit. Oh my God, it's just right full again. <laughs> I need to get some actual grenades, some real grenades. Wow, the XP, it's friggin' crazy. Don't set myself on fire, there we go. Okay, set them on fire, let them burn. Just for a moment, turn off these uh, electric traps. I wanna try to preserve them as long as I can. See if maybe I can just get some melee in, see how this feels. Gotta level up, nice. Oh, I hear them breaking stuff. I don't know where they are though. I think they're probably under me because they were beating over here for a while And I think they beat their way in but there's there should be plenty of like redundancy in the structural stability here so I'm not really worried about collapse Not yet anyway. Oh, yeah, you can see the uh, the smoke cloud from some zombie some rad that's underneath there Perhaps I should put some bars or something here so that if that happens I can kill them to be determined. Yep, not particularly feeling the need to have the electric fences, at least not right now. We'll wait until it gets crazier. You know, I've noticed that Ash's chainsaw doesn't really work well for the rads. Not sure why that is. Oh, Night Stalker! Haven't seen very many of them. That looks like a very large Night Stalker. All right, gotta check on the pit. I'm sure it's filled up again. Ah, whoops. No, I didn't mean to do that. Carefully this time. There we go. Oh, jeez. Man, it's brutal down there. Well, as long as there's still zombies down there, I'm just gonna keep throwing pipe bombs. They're cheap. Yeah, the one drawback of not having the fences on is that they are going into destroy block mode when they land down in the pit. Oh, jeez, someone's head just came flying up and hit me. Yeah, melee just does not really have much of a place. Oh, friggin' bears! Uh, in Darkness Falls. It's all about the guns. Whoa, bear, whoa! Oh, jeez, man, they come flying up here. All right, we're gonna be using the coil shotgun if it's just gonna be freaking night stalkers and zombie bears. Oh my God, it's right full of zombies down there again. And are zombies coming up still? They are, that means that the they are still able to get out of the pit, I think. Well, no, it, it looks like they've broken the staircase, so they're just gonna be trying to beat their way out from down there now. Oh, that's probably bad. Well, we'll worry about that some other day. I do hear birds. I don't see that the turrets are out of ammo quite yet, though. Yep, they're still working. 
Whoa, jeez, friggin' bears come and they, they're, they run, <laughs> they run so fast. All right, I don't see very many zombies even down there. I'm not sure where the hell they all are. There's certainly some down there though. Oh, I did it again. Carefully this time. At least we'll have the opportunity to fill in. Oh my God. Get back, man, jeez. So the ramp is holding up really well. I thought that would have probably failed by now some, for some reason or another. Are we out of ammo with the turrets yet? There's like a lot, a lot of birds. We gotta work on turret ammos. Holy cow, look how many there are. I can't even get the turret down. Okay, come over here. I will grab that turret. Nope, I can't do it. There we go. There, put that one down there. <laughs> okay. It's getting a little, a little bit hectic now. It's a little bit crazy. Yes, put that one there. Okay, whoa, freaking birds. Now come to the middle so that they can actually shoot the birds. been thinned out pretty well. Okay, set them on fire. Check down here. Oh my god! Is that a- Whoa! I'm on... Oh, I did it again! I gotta stop doing that! Here, just give me more pipe bombs. I think that's a, a behemoth that's down there. Or a titan, or some sort of, like, very, very large zombie. I have not seen him upstairs just yet. Give me that back. Oh man, just keep throwing bombs down there. Wow, oh my god. Just look at the XP roll in. So I think what they're doing is they've beaten their way underneath this wing here and then they've beaten their way out and they're working their way back around after that. Oh, we got demos here now. I think the uh, Desert Vulture, did I put the Armor Shredder mod on that? That's the one you want, I think, to kill the demos. Just get headshots on them with the Armor Shredder. Demo's gonna go off. Oh, crap. The question is, where was he when that happened? Five bones, I'll take those. Kill that demo. This is not working as well as I would have hoped. Oh my god, and it's morning already? Wow! Just a matter of killing these zombies and then killing all the screamers that inevitably follow. Oh, not again. Douse the flames! Try to get the rest of these guys with melee. Here, with the armor shredder. Oh, he just fell off, damn it. Damn, these demos seem like extra strong. Oh, uh, I should not be using this anymore because it's not nighttime anymore. So we're not getting that 50% boost. Not getting any kind of a boost on this because the shotgun just does not do very much damage to armored zombies. There we go. Oh no, I hit it with the chainsaw. Whatever. Oh, I've got like no guns that work good on demos. We need to work on that for the next horde. So I never did see the behemoth again. I either killed him or blew him up or something. Screamer! Got her. All right. Well, I'm gonna venture, ouch. Gonna venture out now that the traps are off. Oh man. Well, all my spikes are gone. Is a shame. Those cost me uh, 250 steel to get those. Oh no, he's right there. He's stuck. Zombie behemoth. Oh, coil shotgun rounds really uh, take him down pretty fast. Oh my god. Oh, I, he had a leg blown off. He was dismembered. That's why he was stuck down there. Oh man. Love it. Ah yeah, see they just carved their way in here. We'll fix that. We'll get the trenches built over the next week or so. Wow, man, this base actually held up so well. We didn't even have to fall back to a different position. 
for now. Do I have any wood? I do. Let's get some storage chests down. Just put everything away and give me my looting goggles back. And we'll start looting up. Ooh, titanium gloves. Nice. Ooh, a really good crossbow. Look at this pile of loot bags just stuck back here. What the hell is that? A coil sniper gun. Oh my god. Oh, another good crossbow. I'm gonna squish my little body back here and see if I can get these loot bags. Wow, look at the loot. Whoa, what is this loot bag? Why is that loot table so big? What is that? Oh, Master Sergeant Porkins shotgun! Really starting to feel those three points I put into the looting perk. Yes, that was a good decision, I think. All right, <laughs> lug my ass over here, put all of that stuff away, and get back to it. Tuna fish gravy toast. Don't mind if I do. That was an amazing meal. Oh, another coil shotgun, a really good one. What is that? A coil carbine. All right. Wow, a little bit of wear and tear on the face there. <laughs> Overall, though, I am super happy with how this horde turned out. This is easily fixable here, and once we get it upgraded to steel, it'll be even better. I'll give you a quick glimpse at the loot haul. I think probably the coolest thing I got was the Master Sergeant Porkins shotgun and a couple of the coil guns. And I believe that'll be an upgrade at the compound crossbow as well. Titanium gloves, coil sniper. Yeah, yeah, really good stuff. Safe cracking for dumb shits. Increases the lock picking perk by one, sure. All right, I'm gonna start lugging all this stuff back to the base and getting it organized, and our adventure will continue tomorrow. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. But I'll be back again soon for the next episode. I hope that you'll join me again. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Thanks for watching my back today, and good night. While you're waiting for the next episode, check out the links below for more content, ways to support the channel, and ways to become a Nerd of Steel. You can catch me on the Discord, Twitter, at the weekly live stream, or in the comment section down below. Huge thank you to all of my supporters who have made this channel what it is today. My name is Tamreki, and I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I'll see you in the next one.